Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai vehicle guys. It could be practically any Hyundai. In today's video we will explain what are the symptoms of bad brake disc rotors and uh, when you should replace yours. So stay with us, we will cover very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, we will demonstrate on a Hyundai Sonata but the video could be helpful on Hyundai uh, Elantra, Sonata, Santa Fe, Tucson, Veloster and Hyundai Accent as well if you guys need to buy any parts tools anything for your hyundai guys okay we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos now if you have a hyundai you want to check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we're going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out so what is the number one symptom guys that you need to replace your brake rotors on your Hyundai vehicle okay pretty simple if you guys hit the brake pedal and you start feeling pulsation in the steering wheel the, the car is kind of like vibrating you need new rotors and the faster you go okay the more the car will vibrate let's say you're going 60 mile an hour you hit the brake pedal you barely feel any vibration in the steering wheel then you go to 80 mile an hour you hit the brake and it shakes like crazy okay that is guys a sign that the rotor is not even it's not smooth it's wrapped and that will that pulsation it's called brake pulsation will be transferred from here to the steering knuckle it will go to the power steering and it will shake your steering wheel so if you notice that okay in some cases you may take the rotor and actually you can guys uh, take it to a machine shop and they can resurface it if it's not too thin there is a minimum thickness for every rotor that you need to follow otherwise okay it can easily break when you apply the brakes that's number one number two if you have a huge lip on the top and the bottom guys okay above the brake pads and on the bottom of the brake pads you will need to replace it it means your rotor has been eaten quite a bit also number three if you have scoring or spots on your rotor it's very possible that you need to replace it as well it should be nice shiny rotor when you drive it this one's been rusty because the car has been parked for a while as well that's another thing guys if you haven't driven your car for a very long time it's been stored outside it's been exposed to rain especially you stopped it guys in a grassy spot okay a lot of rain when it rains it's going to get between the rotor and the pads and uh, it will actually develop a spot where uh, rust will eat the rotor that will make an even rotor and later you will have brake pulsations that's quite quite helpful as well also if you have uh, grooves in the rotor deep grooves replace it if you see surface cracks surface cracks or stress marks you will need to replace it as well guys those are the most common symptoms also bad rotor guys when you need to replace it and what is another symptom let's say you didn't replace your brake pads on time and you grinded the brake pad uh, surface on the rotor it's kind of like metal in metal you will hear like a loud uh, squeaking thing coming out of the brakes most likely you just damage your rotor and it will need to be replaced also bad rotors will have uh, reduced braking power as well those are the most common things that we see on hyundai guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information thank you for watching and see you guys next time